Welcome back. Now that we've installed Minigo, let's go through some of its options. Uh, so on the left of the interface, we have this expanding menu that allows you to access uh, all of the sections. Um, all of uh, their uh, actual options are obviously displayed in uh, the large part of the screen. On top, we have a link to the online documentation, should you need it, uh, as well as a preview button to see exactly how uh, Minigo looks like. Uh, this, uh, this is very useful when you save changes and, uh, and want to quickly preview. Uh, next we have a save changes button and uh, a reset and uh, reset all. Uh, reset, uh, just uh, reset section, just resets this section, whereas reset all resets all sections. Uh, then you have a link to support and uh, our social stuff as well as our website and a notification uh, to let you know exactly what's going on with Minigo, if it's active or if it's in maintenance mode. Um, now, most of the time, I, I prefer to edit uh, Minigo in full screen, as we don't need uh, the WordPress menu much. Uh, let's go through some of the other options. So we have a skin loader, uh, where you can preview and load uh, skins that uh, you can then use as a base to build upon. Uh, you can change your title, logo, favicon, and all of those things. Uh, you can customize your loader, uh, you can then uh, customize your navigation with a lot of styles, options and sizes. Um, and uh, the same goes for your footer navigation, your uh, icon links, social media. Uh, then a lot of background options, contact settings and contact form, uh, where uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can uh, go through and, uh, and uh, really fine tune. Uh, we have audio support, custom code for CSS and uh, perhaps some scripts, page options, uh, as well as the page content. Uh, you'll notice that we can uh, turn the pages on and off. Uh, and uh, we indicate uh, the pages that go on the left and on the right side in case you choose to uh, go with uh, a split menu. Uh, now the blocks are the dynamic bits that uh, you can introduce in content. Uh, and uh, we have plenty of those, like uh, add this, contact info, uh, the countdown. Each one of these is customizable and you can choose options and uh, perhaps labels. Um, and uh, you, you'll notice in a second that we have this really amazing um, uh, accordion menu that uh, you can use to edit and, uh, and, and sort of rearrange your content. Uh, so, uh, all of these accordion menu menus are actual items, you can edit each one, uh, you can move them around, you can delete one, you can delete all, uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, and this is uh, the styling section. The general styling affects uh, most of the normal stuff that you would expect in, uh, uh, in any website, uh, like uh, choosing typography, colors for uh, all the headings and all of that stuff. Uh, we, we can customize the navigation, the icon navigation, uh, the icon buttons that, uh, that we use for social links, uh, content buttons, as well as forms. Uh, now, uh, if, if you saw something missing, that's because uh, we customized the uh, actual block styling separately. So this is the last section uh, of, uh, of your typical options. Uh, so let's enable block styling and go through some of them. Uh, each, uh, each one just uh, sim simply targets that specific block. So, for instance, if you just want to customize uh, your uh, icon list or, uh, let's say, your, uh, your team block or your testimonials, uh, you just uh, go to that section, change your colors, and, uh, and you're off. Uh, now, in the advanced options, we can uh, load scripts and uh, uh, styles from other plugins, so you can use those shortcodes as well as some uh, theme stuff. Uh, that's for advanced users. We can uh, whitelist IPs and uh, also have an automatic update feature where you can uh, just enter your purchase key and uh, just forget about uploading. Uh, this is the import and export section where we can uh, back up our website uh, as well as import options. So that's about it. Uh, next, we'll go into a bit more detail. Uh, see you soon.